What's going on guys? This is going to be a new video series that's just going to basically be a uh, bunch of practice questions. They're the best way to learn concepts like this and uh, definitely probably the best way to learn for uh, studying for the NCLEX. So uh, let's get started. There's going to be about 10 questions in the series to start and if you guys like them I'll put up uh, another 10 shortly. Practice question number one. A patient requires 75 milligrams of metoprolol every morning. The unit has 50 milligram tabs of metoprolol available. How many tabs do you give? So let's pull up our formula here and let's get started. Let me just pull out my pen here. Okay, so let's start with the desired dose. The desired dose is what the patient needs. So the patient requires 75 milligrams. Let's put that up here in our uh, first fraction. Second part, the amount on hand. So what does the unit have available? Obviously, if the unit had 75 milligram tabs available, we would just give them one tab, but it's not always the case. Sometimes you have to do the math. So in this case, the unit has 50 milligram tabs available. So we're gonna put that in the bottom half of our fraction right here. So moving on, the next part is the vehicle. In this case, it's rather simple. It's tabs, but in future videos, it's gonna be more complicated. It's gonna be like liquids, milliliters. Uh, pre-filled syringes, patches, and the like. So we'll try to go through as many different uh, scenarios as we can. So let's start with this. So 50 milligrams per tab. So obviously it's going. the vehicle is going to be one tab. We're going to start by solving this. So the answer has already popped up. 75 milligrams divided by 50. If you're paying close attention to the math, the milligrams cancel out. 75 divided by 50 gives you 1.5. You're going to multiply that by the vehicle, which is one tab, and that's going to give you 1.5 tabs. So you're going to give this patient 1.5 tabs in order to get 75 milligrams of metropolol, which is the patient's required dose. If you want to back check this, all you have to do is multiply whatever answer you got by the amount on hand which it would be 50. And if you did it right, you will get uh, this original desired dose, which is 75 milligrams. So 1.5 multiplied by 50 obviously gives you 75. Keep practicing. If you didn't get it, try another one. Uh, it doesn't come easy for a lot of people. So like, subscribe, comment, and uh, try the next question.